What we got going on here is the Riverside Unified School District Science Fair. Winners from here are going to go on to the county level and from the county level to the state level. This is called the Salt Pod Solution, uh, reducing mangrove deforestation. Placing objects in front of a Wi-Fi router and basically we're going to see how much it blocks. I made a leaf blower gas powered hovercraft. Is it okay to listen to music while you're studying and doing homework? They are really creative. Kids ask whatever questions they want. Well this is a great initiative in the district. It has a long history with UCR. Uh, we've been here for over 25 years. Well, we were just excited. He had the opportunity to present his science fair project here at the district competition. So we have a rubric for our judging. It's based on originality, completeness, the scientific method. And that it's motivated by their own interests. He says, Dad, do you know what? I'm tired of going to ER. He stared at the screens for a long time and he says, i got to find a way to fix this. How my screen could filter out the air and pretty much dust would fall off and cleaner air would come into the room. So a P wave is the first wave in an earthquake. I put them on a shaker table I made to see which ones could resist P wave for the longest time. I didn't even know it was possible to be made by, like, me. We always set the bar high and they need it. James Fagan is a quite an extraordinary student and last year he was considered for the Broadcom Masters. Last year my project was to find out what wing would be best for a drone aircraft for flight in the Martian atmosphere. And this year, I'm testing out several different propellers and impellers to find out which one will generate the most thrust for this aircraft. I want to be a robotics engineer and work for NASA. It's fantastic, and I like how it feels like every year women and girls are more and more confident in how they talk. And so when, they, when we ask them to tell us their story about the project, they're looking you in the eyes and they're telling you with pride, and I think that makes a big difference. Well, I really like engineering and robotics. It just sounded fun and challenging, and so I picked it. Well, it is very fulfilling considering that we have many initiatives across the district to get our girls interested in STEM fields. We need you to keep going. Don't stop at high school. Keep going until you're reaching the top.